Today I'm installing a kicker hideaway in an 04 F-150. Uh, the subwoofer comes with this clip that plugs into the side here. Goes right there. And then these wires, the red one here, uh, this one goes to the positive terminal on the battery. But you're going to have to connect the fuse before you do that. Um, the the white and then the white with a stripe this one that's your speaker wire and then the gray and the gray with a black stripe that's also a speaker wire and I bought this little aftermarket um, adapter that I can just plug into the back of my aftermarket uh, stereo so I spliced those together though it comes with a wiring diagram that tells you exactly what you what colors go to what but uh, since I'm doing this uh, I have to connect this blue wire the power wire from the clip to um, the back of the stereo to the blue wire on the back of the stereo so it, it comes very short so I had to just buy a 16 gauge wire and made, made it longer so this one will be to the back of the stereo um, a blue wire I believe and then this black one here this is just a ground this is probably ground it under the seats one of the bolts so let's get started once you found a place to put the subwoofer um, I'm going to put it under the rear driver seat um, it comes with a little diagram shows you where to put the screws and I I set it down and uh, made sure it fit and all and I liked it and then I drilled two holes right here and right here it says to drill four but I'm just gonna drill two one there and there I did start to drill one right there but then I decided not to so I mean you really don't even need to screw it down but I'm just gonna do it okay so the next part is to screw the straps in with the supplied bolts and nuts it comes with. Okay, so I'm screwing the strap in here and make sure that the velcro is in the right position facing the right way so you don't mess it up. So I'm just going to screw this in. Okay, so I got the kicker in here with the straps. It holds pretty good. You don't really need them, but and now the for the wiring, we grounded the um, black cable right here to this uh, bolt that holds down the back seat, and uh, that should be a good ground. And then to run the the wires, um, our plan is to go start here on this trim piece, and then under this trim piece, all of them under this trim piece through here to the other to the other side right here uh, keep going keep going keep going then keep going in here and here then about here just kinda tape it up along and to get to the engine uh, I'm gonna go through this little firewall um, that we taped up it was just a hole to the engine and then to get to the radio I'm gonna go up through there's there's an opening there I'm gonna go up through there keeping it all nice and tidy to get to the radio okay so I got the clip here ran it behind this that's the only part that's gonna be showing it's that and that red white and blue um, it's gonna be under the trim piece all along here I went zip tying and taping it so that it'd be nice and tidy and I went under here just kind of shoving it around here. Kept going along here. Kept going. And all the way along this. Zip tied it. And then I just kind of lifted this up, shoved it all the way under. It's inside this. And then it's coming out here. And then the uh, battery wire. I'm going to run it under the the carpet here up top where it cuts off and into this 
Oops, I already did that. Uh, you can see down there, that's the tape where it comes out of. You can see the red wires poking out of there. We run it up, zip tied it there. Ran it along that piece, along that piece, and out over here. And then gonna cut it right here and then connect it right there to the battery. So that's all good. Zip tied it here to make sure it's good and stays out of the way of the engine. After about three hours of messing with it and trying to get the um, RCAs to work by plugging them in the subwoofer output puts the RCA outputs here I tried plugging them in every which way there's power to the sub but there's just no signal so I decided to do it the hard way thanks kicker thanks thanks a lot for this $15 piece that doesn't work but now I'm gonna have to first of all I have to add about two feet of just wire so that I can actually reach the back of the stereo and now I'm gonna have to tap into the actual speaker wires so I'm gonna have to figure out what colors I need to tap into and splice four wires in here and it's gonna be a, a while before I get this done so now I got about 50 wires to splice Okay, here I am with the four speaker wires that I had to extend, and then I color-coded just the ends of them. So you can see this is gray and gray with a black stripe. This is just white, plain white. Uh, this one is just a white with a black stripe. And then the one I already spliced in was uh, white, uh, oh, that one was gray. This one was gray. So, they color match the harness that I'm splicing them into. So, I'll show you how I do that on one here. I'll put the white just a plain white um, wire speaker wire into the plain white uh, speaker wire in the harness so to do that I'll just kind of peel back um, a little bit of this wire here There, I got it pretty good. Not very good, but enough. 
peeled back. Let's snip this off. So there you can see the exposed copper. I'm just gonna take this and wrap it around kind of like that so there you can see I it's spliced into that and that'll hold pretty good now I'm going to wrap it with a bunch of tape Okay, it's pretty sloppy, but I got it done. It's gonna take me a while, but I got the Simpsons. Okay, so I got the four wires spliced into the speaker wires, and I uh, fired it up. I had to put it on the charger, actually, and uh, fired it up, turned on some music, and set this to about there. And some music started playing, and it, it wasn't really going. And then I just kind of felt it. I just put my hand on it, and I could feel a little thump. His heart was starting to beat. And um, so then I took a screwdriver and started messing with um, all this stuff which I just turned to like the max and then it started really thumping so I'll fire it up for you guys So as you can see, it plays really nice. It's the bass is perfect. So that's it. I'm just gonna put it back together and get everything back to where it needs to go and clean it up, and that should be good.